Look at this. I just made a realistic video inside Comfy UI using the new Lynx workflow. And the face stays perfectly stable in every frame. No training, no LoRa setup, just one workflow. So let me show you how you can do this step by step. First, upload the Lynx workflow that I created. You'll find the link on my website aistudynow.com. So once you open it in Comfy UI, you'll see the full layout. This workflow is built to keep the same face across every generated frame while keeping natural motion. So we are using the Ven 2.1 model FP8 here. The same base model I used in my earlier Ven 2.1 workflow. For the VAE, we also use Ven 2.1 VAE. And for the text encoder, I am using UNT XXL ENC BF16. So these are the same model files we used in our old Ven 2.1 workflow. And for LoRa models, I am using two LoRa model files. First one is Light X2V LoRa which you can set between 0.8 to 1 strength for balance and another one is HPS 2.1 LoRa which is 0.5 and it stands for human preference score. This HPS LoRa improves colors and gives the result a clean human like tone and if your result looks too saturated you can lower the strength to around 0.3. This workflow adds a few new model nodes inside the when video model loader section. So here you will see when video extra model select where we can add full IP layer FP16 and links full reference layer FP16. And another one is full resampling FP32. So let me explain what each one does. Here, resampling model, it reads your face, crops it and converts it into a clean feature that the WAN model can understand. This keeps your facial identity stable across frames. If I talk about reference layer model, it enhances the fine texture of the image like skin, hair, shadows, and small fabric details. And the last one comes IP layer model. It's the identity preserving layer. And it tells the model when to keep the same person through the whole video. So you will need to download three models IP layer, reference layer, resampling model. For resampling and IP layer, you will find both full and light versions. If you have less VRAM, go with the light model and if you have enough VRAM, use the full FP16 models. After downloading, save all these three inside your Comfy UI's models diffusion model folder. Now in the image load section, upload the image whose face you want to keep the same in the generated video. I always connect everything through Resolution Master. This keeps all images in the same size. Select one of the when supported presets for best results. Now what's new in this model is a node called when video add links embed. Inside it, you will find two key things. IP scale and reference scale. So these are the settings. IP scale controls how strongly the system preserves the same face. If you set it too high, the expressions may freeze. So a good value is between 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. And reference scale, it copies small details like skin texture, hair edges, eyebrows, molds, fabric details, near the collar, etc. If I talk about CFG, 
the link CFG scale controls the overall motion strength. I usually set it to 1.6 for active motion. And if you prefer natural movement, go for 1.4 to 1.8. Above 2, motion starts to look unnatural. So I won't recommend that. Start percentage tells links when to start working during denoising and end percentage tells it when to stop. So a good ending value is around 0.9. You will also find a test node where you can add your image and prompt. Everything else works the same as in when 2.1. I also added a simple duration calculator section. If you want a 5 second video at 24 fps, just enter those values. The system automatically calculates the correct number of frames. You can change it to 16 seconds or 30 fps if needed. Right now, when ports up to 5 second clips, so I am using that length. So if I talk about example, uh, in my first example, I want to create a cozy cafe scene. So here is my prompt for this first example. A person sits beside a large window in a cozy cafe. City lights blur and shimmer through the steady rain outside. They glance at their phone and laugh with someone off screen. And here I hit run. And you can see the result. The face is a 100% match with our reference image. The motion follows the prompt perfectly. The reflections, the lighting, and the laughter all feel natural. In my second example, I want a rainy platform scene. So here my prompt is a close-up on a rainy platform at night. The person faces the camera, closes their eyes and feels the wind as a train passes behind. When I hit run, the video looks incredible. The face remains identical to the reference image, the wind motion feels real and the colors have that perfect cinematic grade. If your reference image has special features like a tattoo near the eye and you want them to stay, so here is what you can do. Go to when video add links embed and set reference scale as 1. This keeps every small detail like skin texture, posture, eyes and tattoos exactly the same. If you want the AI to modify the look slightly, reduce reference scale 0.8 to 0.9. That gives a bit of creative variation while keeping identity stable. So that's how you can use links in ConfiUI to generate realistic videos with a consistent face. So that's all for today's video. If this helped you, subscribe to the channel for more ComfyUI tutorials and updates.